Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. And here we are giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. Well, we are here by the grace of God. And as my granddaughter says in the mornings, mommy, we made it. So we are here. Today is Thursday, February 17th. 3.51 in the a.m. How do I know? I read it off the silent radio. Hey, we're rhyming this morning. To God be the glory. So we are here giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. It was by the grace of God. It is by the grace of God that we are here. And we are so thankful to the Father. So I, I you know, sometime before I switch to video, because when you go to the camera, it's on photo. Um... I took a picture. Sometimes I do that in the morning, most mornings, but then I delete and I went to delete this one. I was like, ah, that looks a bit whimsical. Leave it there. Girl, look at you saying whimsical. <laughs> Anywho, oh, I'm not on anything this morning, but the blessings of the Lord. Amen. So I'm here at home. I was kind of thinking what, 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 um, I listened to a couple, uh, uh, Christian television programs as I'm getting dressed and they both said some things you know and I was thinking about it but then as I got into the parking space here I was counting something and I was like uh, 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 uh. but then you know what beloved it just rested in my spirit Sharon sometime you have to do things one day at a time sometime you have to take it one day at a time now, we all know that preparation is good, and we should all prepare. Um, then there are times in life, even with the preparation, um, not that we are not prepared, but sometime we have to go, you know, maybe a different route. Now, I'm sure we're of the same generation where we learned that the quickest distance between two points is what? It's a straight line. My mother used to tell me that all the time. Sharon, you, 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 you take your shoes off and leave them in the floor. Well, you know, that's unacceptable. So now you got to go back and pick them up and put them in the closet when you should just do that take them off put them in the closet save that extra step sharon the quickest distance between two points is what it's a straight line and so we do want that straight line we do want that quickest point sometime in life however there are detours sometime in life however as we're going through this journey of life, sometime there, there's a sign that says detour and you have to go this way to go that way. And, and sometime we end up detouring because of our flesh. We end up, oh, well, I know my detours were because of the flesh. You know, you want what you want, you eat what you want, you do what you want. And then it's like, oh my goodness. Then there are other times where we find that, and God works that out for us. He, he works it out for us. He really does. When we keep God first, although we may detour on our own, he don't let us get too far out there. He, 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 he keeps us. Then there are times, beloved, where we may find ourselves on the detour and we are being led by the hand of God. We are being led by the Spirit of the Lord. And sometime we've got to take it a day at a time. Well, all the time we have to live one day at a time. But we have to so often, or maybe not even so often, but every now and then we've got to, okay, God, I'm trusting you for this day. There was a time I would get five dollars worth of gas every morning and beloved this wasn't too very long ago or so very long ago or so many years back <laughs> maybe not even a year there have there was a time where i would pull into the same gas station every morning five on eight five on number eight five on twelve it was either eight or twelve five on eight five on twelve and some may say, well, if you had five, ten, twenty-five dollars, you should have just gotten twenty-five dollars. No, my life was such at the time where 
Mm-mm. If we're going to make it till Friday, we're going to have to do this $5 at a time. Y'all remember that? $5, five, five. Beloved, sometime we have to take it $5 at a time. Five on eight. 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 And while we're taking it five on eight, guess what, beloved? We're trusting God. Five on eight, I walk by faith and not by sight. Five on eight, Lord God, why it's this way, you know, and it could be some of my own issues as well. Um, but for right now, the best I can do is five on eight. Beloved, if the best you can do is five on eight, then guess what? You do five on eight. And as you're doing five on eight, you trust God. As you're doing five on eight, you believe God. You believe and trust God that he's going to work it out for your good. You know, I'm about to say, let me get out of this car, make my way over there to track one. From the transit center, by the grace of God, going to make it to the Union Station. From the Union Station, off the Metro Link, onto the red line. From the red line, we're going to ride as far as we need to ride. We're going to get off and walk and walk and walk and walk. And then we're going to walk inside of that building. And once we enter into that building, beloved, we are going to render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we will meet again on when, on tomorrow, from where, from my front seat. This your girl Sharon, and I'm out, y'all. Do says.